Oh, I think they should care hugely about it because um, we want to see more house building um, happening in this country. I think we need to ensure that there's a system in place that brings forward more land for development. Um, as you will know, Labour's got this huge commitment to delivering 200,000 plus houses per year by the end um, of the next Parliament. And so we want to have a real dialogue with developers about how we get more land into the system, how we get better building um, taking place, higher quality um, development, and we get more houses um, as soon as possible. Well, that's a really difficult question because there are so many things that need to be done. But I guess the first priority will be how do we get more land into the system so that we can start to build the houses that are necessary to tackle our housing crisis. I mean, we know we're in the middle of a huge housing crisis. Um, we need to get more housing across all tenures, including in the private rent sector. Um, and we can't do that without having more land in, and, and, and also more people developing. So we need to ensure that there are a wider range of developers, particularly small, medium-sized companies, that we have more self-built, more custom-built, more cooperative housing. So I think um, my big priority would be making sure that that land comes into the system and the land that currently um, has planning permission is built out as quickly as possible. It's um, about how we think about planning differently. I think we've had five years of being told that planning is a barrier to development, that we need to deregulate it. I have to say I see planning completely differently. I see planning as delivering a set of tools that enables communities. If it's done well, then it can enable communities to really shape their environment, not only in the present, but in the future, to develop communities that people people really want to live in. So our big challenge is to return planning to its visionary roots and to use it proactively to help people develop communities that we all want to see and a good quality built environment. We have done planning well in this country at certain times and we need to return to that. Proactivity getting it to be visionary, proactive, fully engaging um, communities and the sorts of developments that we need um, for the future and working with all partners, including the development industry, to deliver what we need as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, well, if I'm allowed three, it's um, dire and depressing, and I think they just don't get it on planning. absolutely central, central to our approach to planning because I think my view and it's a view shared by Hilary Benn is that the way, often the way of unlocking development is to put communities in the driving seat when you give people more control over what appears in their area, not only in terms of housing but in the sort of infrastructure that is needed to support new housing and to, to deliver communities. You know, so it's, it's about having a say over schools and roads and public transport and all the things that, that we really need to have good quality development and actually also some say over what houses look like and who they should be for. So we think all of that's essential in terms of getting the development that we need and we want to um, ensure that um, neighbourhoods are put at the centre of development. So we're going to integrate neighbourhood planning into the local plan making system. So it has to start from the neighbourhood and build up. Well, we, you know, we are really serious about this commitment to at least two hundred thousand houses by per year by the end of the next parliament and. You know, we think that's what's needed to try and tackle 
our really acute housing um, shortage and you know I'm not clairvoyant I can't say um, what will be delivered but I can say that we are really serious about delivering in that commitment that's why we set up the Lions Commission so we would have a road map about how to get from the output we have at the moment 120 130,000 houses per year up to that 200,000 figure so we're really serious about it and you know we want to see um, that number achieved. Oh my goodness, what a question. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I think it's a real, going to be a really interesting um, election. I mean, I obviously hope that um, Labour emerges um, victorious, but I, I have to acknowledge um, that it's you know it's really interesting and I think we're in uncharted territory in some respects and um, you know it's very much a watch this space isn't it.